What's up guys, it's your boy Dante and before we jump into the video I have a few quick words to say so the other day we just hit 500 subs I noticed some that might not seem like a lot but to me it means the world So I say thank you to every single subscriber that has joined the movement We are on that grind to 1k people. I will not stop as soon as we get to 1k I have a special thank you to one special subscriber they will be getting a hundred dollars gift card to any store of their choosing so in order to get into this raffle you have to one be subscribed and two you have to be subscribed guys it's very simple you just have to be subscribed if you want the hundred dollar gift card be subscribed you don't want to miss this guys and i just hope i can continue to entertain and just make you guys smile and laugh so guys to that 1k grind let's get it baby ah <sighs> what's up guys it's your boy dante and i'm back once again with another reaction video name of this video is called the breakdown of taylor swift's look what you made me do this to kanye and katie perry I know it has to be interesting. Let's see what kind of jab she put into this song, people. Uh, originally, so this video will be down in the description below. Make sure you go show us some love. Also, like to put in a video request of your own, please do. I'll be checking YouTube and social media comments daily. And if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button. Please do to join the movement. On that grind of 1K, people. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. Taylor Swift's Taylor response. Taylor Swift has returned with a new song, Persona, and a few scores to settle. <laughs> it was a good song. <laughs> made me do. <laughs> Look What You Made Me Do, co-written by frequent collaborator Jack Antonoff, is the lead single off of Swift's upcoming album, Reputation, which is due November 10th. This single is much darker than what we've come to expect from Taylor, and it really seems like she's ready to address the many, many beasts swirling around. First up, Kanye and Kim. I don't like your little games. Don't like your tilted stage. Hmm. Remember Kanye's floating stage during his Life of Pablo tour? And yes, it uh. could also be about Katy Perry's Grammy stage, but we'll get to her jabs later. Next, Taylor reignites a controversy around Famous. The role you made me play. The fool. No, I don't like you. The first of Kanye's use of the word bitch to describe Taylor Swift. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. famous. I made that bitch famous. famous. Now, West claimed in a tweet that he cleared this bar with Taylor herself, but the two couldn't agree on what happened, so they just continued taking snipes at each other. But Kim is a master in this game and had her man's back with the receipts. For all my South Side niggas that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. I think this is a really cool thing to have. Uh, but, yeah. This video was a major blow to Swift's yeah, reputation. That crap went viral, bro. Quote, character assassination. So this could be the perfect crime that Swift is alluding to. Kanye and Kim won the battle, but the war would continue. Also, TMZ reported early Friday morning that this song was, quote, meant purely for Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. And while that does hold weight, Many lines seem to allude to fellow pop star Katy Perry. That's what I said. I, I believe it's Kanye and Katy. Let's be real. This is a straight up reference Kanye to the and Katie. by the 2004 film Mean Girls character Regina George. And could also be Taylor accepting a 2014 Perry tweet that appeared to be aimed at her. And there's more. Could this be a response to Perry's swish swish? Swift's lyric video also contains Uroboros, an Yo. ancient Egyptian symbol of a snake eating its own tail, which could mean Swift is accepting the label of snake that was thrusted upon her and that this drama can keep feeding itself. I didn't even think Both about all this. Believe the other will get what's coming to them. I mean, Perry included the word karma on the cover for Swish Swish. 
But this is also an interpolation from a blackout era Britney Spears track called Piece of Me, where the pop star alluded to the drama that would continually follow her. <laughs> Good Morning America released a preview for the upcoming video on Look What You Made Me Do. The full video will be released at the MTV VMAs this Sunday, which will be hosted by Katy Perry. Yeah, Swift is playing 3D chess. And this isn't the first Yo. time Swift has used her music to settle scores. In 2010, she released Dear John, which was aimed at guitarist John Mayer, and 2015's Bad Blood, where she went after Katy Perry. While much of Look What You Made Me Do can be interpreted as slights towards West, Kardashian, and Perry, it can also be seen as an I really just want to know a lawsuit victory against a DJ who groped her and don't bother asking for the old Taylor Swift because she's not coming back because she's dead oh Jacques Morel with Genius News bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music peace there we go guys the breakdown of Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do. This towards Kanye and Katy Perry. Guys, he definitely opened my eyes towards a lot of things. I did not even know the music business was calculated like that. Like, everyone, it literally is like you're playing chess. Like, everyone, they're thinking, they're trying to outthink you when it comes to every single move. Like, even down to she replied to Katy Perry within the music video. And even down to Katy Perry, the small little receipt on Swish Swish, I had no idea. I had no idea. And then she's about to have the music video at the VMAs this Sunday when Katy Perry is hosting? Oh, that's petty to a whole nother level. That's petty to a whole nother level. Guys, let me know. What'd you think of the video? Are you shocked by any of this? Or did you always know Taylor Swift was just that chick where she doesn't give an F at all? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also, who's really going to win in the end of this? I believe probably the fans. More music, you know. But guys, leave a great comment down below. Hit that like button for your boy. And if you have not yet, hit that subscribe button to join the movement on the grind of that 1K. I won't stop, baby. And before I go, I'll leave you with this. Ride your own wave and be different, guys. I'm out.